Beam down smoke. Sometimes a retrospect is important. That means we have to look back on the past and see if we were actually right about things or wrong about things before we move on to the future. And that's the entire purpose of this video today, looking back on all of my investment calls and figuring out if they were correct calls or if they were bad calls or different things that I would do if I had a time machine to go back and change something. This video is actually in celebration of 100 videos on my channel. So yeah, we've made it a very long way in that 100 videos. We've made it all the way to almost 5,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. And and I really do appreciate all of you guys for all of your support. It really does mean the world to me to wake up every day knowing that I have a big audience of people that want to watch my content. So that's really, really awesome. And it's all due to you guys. And yeah, thank you. That's This video is sort of an appreciation video. And also a good way to figure out what my track record is for investment content. Just real quick before this video starts, if you guys do want to support the channel, go check out my SkinBay link in the description below. It really does help me a lot if you guys want to buy some stuff on SkinBay with my link. It costs you absolutely nothing to use the link, and you can get some really nice skins for good deals. So go check out that link in the description below. And of course, let me know what you buy with the Skin Bay link and I'll tell you what I think about it. So the first video we're going to be analyzing is one of my very first investment videos and it was my top 10 skins to invest in for the Steam Summer Sale. In this video, I was basically talking about just really popular high demand skins that people like to buy a lot of that have very high volume. This includes stuff like the AK Redline, for example. Overall, this actually wasn't a wrong investment call necessarily, but it was an investment call that I probably would have done differently just because the Summer Sale itself was not not actually as good as it could have been. There was a lot of games that didn't go on sale, a lot of people were anticipating going on sale, and that's kind of why the market was a little bit weird during that time, and why stuff didn't really lower as much as it had in previous years, and skins kind of stayed a little bit more constant. However, you could have still made a decent amount of profit if you bought some of the high demand skins I was talking about, because a lot of them did go down up to a few dollars. Overall though, I'd say the video was more of a bad video just simply because the skins did not lower as much as I had called in the video. Obviously you still made profit, which is fine, but overall just not a perfect video, of course. This next video doesn't really need too much of an introduction. It's one of the most successful investments that has been on my channel of all time, and it's a Kedavite 2015 stickers video. So all I'm really going to show you guys is a screenshot from the video with the amount of profit that you would have made to date on each of the items that I talked about. So yeah, obviously, very successful video, very good video. Alright guys, moving right along to the next major investment video on my channel, which was a case investing video. This was basically analyzing breakout cases and talking about how they had recently had a spike, and it was also talking about some other cases that you could invest in in the future, such as the Vanguard cases or the Chroma 3 cases. Overall, the breakout case did continue to go up, which is something that I called. The Chroma cases actually went up a cent, and they are actually declining very rapidly in the amount of quantity on the market. For example, they had about a million quantity on the market when I had made the video originally, and now they have about half that, so they're really getting to that point where they could rise a lot in price. And also, the other thing I talked about was the Vanguard case, which also rose in price pretty significantly. Overall, I would consider this video successful, but not super successful. I recommended the Chroma 3 case a lot more than honestly I could have. There could have been other better investments that you did at the time. The Chroma 3 case wasn't obviously a bad call because it still is going up in price, and it will still go up in price in the future. It just had a very large quantity, and it had to be a little bit more deleted from the drop pool before it actually rose as much as the video might have suggested. The next video that I made investment-wise was investing in in the CS20 case. This was something that I said was a bad idea. It didn't really get a lot of traction overall as a video, but I was actually right about it. It was just a normal regular case and didn't get discontinued at any point. The next major investment video I made was about flip knives and it was talking about basically flip knives being a really good upcoming investment just because they had done some weird things in the market concerning its price in relation to the gut knife. So the flip knife overall was actually a pretty good investment if you bought it during the video. You would have made a decent amount of money across the board just because all flip knives continued to rise and and became a little bit more popular in the community overall. So overall, really good video actually. Next up is one of the most disliked videos on my channel, but not actually because of the video content. The video did fine, the comments were actually pretty positive overall. The reason it got disliked, I believe, was actually because it got disliked botted, or some other reason like that. Didn't get that many dislikes, of course, but I believe someone actually kind of rated the video overall. That's kind of why it had a dislike ratio. The video was actually about the cash investments and a cash collection coming soon, like a 2018 Nuke or Inferno collection that had previously come out. I was basically saying that because cash was getting a rework, there was a chance of a cash collection coming out, and that you could invest in the older cash skins. Obviously, this never happened. 
However, cash also isn't actually that popular or being moved around in map pools, especially in the majors. So there's actually still a chance of this happening sometime in the future. So it's kind of more of an on hold video. However, overall, I would consider it at this moment a unsuccessful video or a wrong call just because the uh, cash collection obviously didn't come out in any new form. The next video to analyze is going to be our beautiful Berlin Major stickers. So this was a pretty interesting video just because the Berlin Major stickers actually were on sale for a lot longer than they probably should have been for the maximum amount of profit because they extended the sticker sale for such a long period of time. It was significantly longer than anybody could have ever predicted. So these kind of ended up being not as good and you could have invested in other things that would have been better at the time. However, you still would have made profit if you bought the items I talked about, especially if you bought the Navi paper, which I did stress is a pretty good safe one. The next big video on my channel for investing was about the Berlin packages and talking about basically how a lot of people perceive them to not be worth as much just because you could trade in tokens for them. However, I talked about a lot of the quantity diminishing factors and also the fact that they weren't actually going to be worthless. And overall, actually pretty successful. You would have made a decent amount of money if you would have listened to me and continued to buy into packages if you were considering them at the time and were a little bit shaky on it. But if you did listen to me, you would have made money. Therefore, I would consider it a successful video just because these are the newest packages in the game, of course, and obviously can't rise too much until a new major comes out. The next big video on my channel was the $10 investment play skin loadout, and this one was actually really good overall. By this point, you would have doubled your money if you bought all $10 worth of skins that I talked about. Next up was an experimental video that I'm still not really sure if I I want to continue the same type of content or kind of trash the idea altogether, but it was basically a skin spotlight video where I was spotlighting a singular skin that I thought was going to be a good investment in the future. This was going to be the op lightning strike, which at the time was worth about $130 of the time of making the video, of course, and now has risen to around $170. The main problem with the op lightning strike not rising as fast as I had mentioned in the video was that the operation came out and had two covert op skins, which meant that obviously less hype for the op lightning strike because it was a high tier covert op skin. So it had to take a little bit longer for it to rise more in price, but at this point it is of course worth quite a bit more around the $170 range. So actually overall, pretty successful video I would say. And now for one of the biggest boys in terms of profits on this channel, it's going to be the Operation Shattered Web Investing Guide. If you would have listened to me and bought skins from this video, you would have made thousands of dollars on the coverts in the collections. You would have made almost $100 off of the Eagle Emerald Drummondgunder, which is one that I stressed quite a bit. Could have bought it for about $8 during the video, and now it's worth about $70, $80 in factory new condition. The video really, if you invested in anything that I talked about, you would have made an insane sum of money, and that's basically anything from the video. You could have chosen anything I talked about and made an insane amount of money, huge profit margin returns on it, of course, and just overall a really, really solid video in terms of, you know, boosting my track record, I guess, as an investor for CSGO. And all of the more recent videos on my channel are actually all going to be ongoing investments because a lot of them are actually talking about the Operation Shattered Web Collection, which still hasn't hit its supply bottleneck, but I will tell you that I did talk about the big three, which is the Ogden Night Lily and the AK Bro Cripple and the Emerald Norman Gunder in another video after the first Shadow Rabbit investment guide. And if you would have invested in those skins during that video, you still would have made about $30 per item, which is still really good. And on the Broke Purple, you would have made a little bit less just because it was a higher quantity skin. But for the Augmented Lily that I talked about and the Emerald Roman Gunder, you could have bought those for about $15 in factory new condition. And it would have gone up to about $60 in factory new condition for the Augmented Lily. And the Desert Eagle Emerald Roman Gunder, you could have bought for around $30 in factory new or $30 to $50 or so. And you would have made about $30 to $50 at this point as well. And that's pretty much going to sum it up for my track record so far, just because a lot of the more recent videos are still dependent on the supply bottleneck that's going to occur during the end of the operation. And of course, some of it's also dependent on the coronavirus, which was obviously a little bit unpredictable, but it will affect the CSGO market in a sort of positive and somewhat negative way in different aspects. So it's kind of just a recent thing, not really a good idea to talk about it in retrospect, like I'm doing for this video in general. But overall, I'd say my track record is actually pretty good looking back. I only made, I would say, one call that I would consider technically wrong, uh, and then one call I would consider kind of just even, and the rest of them I would consider very, very good. So in conclusion, I'd say I have a pretty good track record in that you probably should listen to me going forward and, you know, maybe make your own decisions, of course, just that you can use me as a road sign towards where you might want to put your money and then kind of decide for yourself if you actually want to put your money there or not. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to come watch this video with me, and I hope you guys have good profits in the future. Be sure to check out my skin bay link in the description below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications for the latest investment content to make sure you don't get behind the curve and end up regretting something that I talk about in a video like this in the future. And also, of course, be sure to check out my Discord server and my Twitter. Both of those are in the description below as well. 
And of course, like the video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time. Peace.